What's next in the village? In next week's Emmerdale episodes, Samson is arrested for assaulting Josh and the result of his plea hearing is announced. Meanwhile, Will and Kim's marriage is at breaking point and John Sugden arrives in the village. Here are 11 big moments to watch out for. 1. Will and Kim hide their guilt There's tension at home farm as Will and Kim try to hide their guilt over Rose's disappearance. When Dawn suggests they hire a private investigator, Will struggles to respond. Panicking, Will goes to Kim for advice and she comes up with a plan to put Dawn off the scent. 2. Caleb worries Ruby When Kim bumps into Caleb, she enjoys telling him what his wife has been up to and Ruby worries about how he'll react to her manipulative scheme. Ruby is increasingly concerned when Caleb drives her wordlessly to a mysterious depot and gets out of the car. What's his plan? 3. Dawn receives a message. Will is disturbed when he realises Kim has possession of Rose's phone. Dawn is heartbroken to receive a message supposedly from her mum saying she isn't coming back, but the text is actually from Kim. Meanwhile, Kim and Will worry about their marriage and Will steals himself, ready to come clean. 4. Samson is arrested. Samson finally finds the courage to stand up to Josh, but his actions backfire massively when he's arrested for assault. As his plea hearing approaches, Samson faces a longer sentence for the additional assault charge and Amelia worries about Esther losing her biological dad to prison. There's silence in the wool pack when Lydia arrives with news from court. 5. Kane suspects Moira. After everything Matty went through in prison, Moira struggles to hide her contempt for Samson. So when he's arrested, she watches on, content. This reaction from his wife makes Kane wonder if Moira was involved in shopping Samson to the police. But is she the one who's landed him in trouble? 6. Eric comes clean to Victoria horrified to hear Eric was responsible for getting Victoria fired from the hide. Brenda orders him to make amends, but instead of telling Vic the truth, he offers her a job in the shop. Upset to hear Eric still hasn't owned up to his role in her sacking, Brenda orders him to come clean. Guilty Eric eventually owns up to Victoria that he made Jai fire her. 7. Victoria has a plan. After Eric's revelation, Victoria unleashes her fury on Eric for leaving her without a job. Too angry to hear Eric's reasoning, she shuts him out. When Victoria tries to vent to Aaron, he's too preoccupied on his phone to listen. But later, he gives her advice to use her knowledge of Eric, masterminding her sacking to her advantage, and she comes up with an idea. 8. John Sugden arrives. Eric attends an old friend's funeral, helped by Victoria when his car breaks down. Once they arrive, Victoria's awkward small talk turns into a surprise when she learns the surname of the bereaved son. He's John Sugden. After a chat with Eric, Victoria realises John might actually be her half-brother. 9. Victoria is delighted. When she returns to the village with Pollard, Victoria is shocked to see John there. His vehicle has broken down and Mackenzie's trying to fix it. Victoria is delighted to bump into him again, but soon his appearance causes friction in the village. 10. Rodney joins the haulage firm Jimmy has reservations when he employs his father-in-law at the haulage firm, but Rodney is glad to be back behind the wheel. However, problems soon arrive when Jimmy hears Rodney has arrived at the destination with items missing from the delivery. He's furious at Rodney, but was it his fault? 11. Mandy becomes a financial dominatrix. With her money worries increasing, Mandy tries to add a surcharge onto Tracy's nail treatment. But when Tracy realises, Mandy's forced to come clean. Determined to resolve her debt without Paddy finding out, Mandy's intrigued when a chat with Gail makes her consider becoming a financial dominatrix. Despite Tracy putting her off the idea, Mandy sets up a profile and Madame Diamante Dales is born.